हेलो बच्चों सो वेलकम टू संजय सर क्लास एंड वी आर डीलिंग विद द टॉपिक हीट हीट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी दैट इज द बेसिक डेफिनेशन एंड द बिगिनर्स डेफिनेशन विच यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड नाउ बच्चों मैं आप लोगों को लोगों को कहूँगा कि व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय एनर्जी देन यू कैन ट्राई टू थिंक अबाउट ब्रेक टाइम ऑफ योर स्कूल वॉट हैपन्स चिल्ड्रेन आर एनर्जेटिक द कीप ऑन रनिंग ईयर एंड देयर In the classroom, actually you are not so energetic physically or mentally energetic. But energy actually means what, children? If you if you try to understand energy well, or if you have to understand energy well, then you can try to think in the tiffin hours your energy. You keep on running. Sometimes only you go to the field. You don't know where to go, but you keep on running, chasing each other and playing. that is what it is happening in every substance whether it is solid liquid or gas in solid there are tiny particles even in this solid there are tiny particles which keep on moving vibrating inside but that energy is little less when you see the liquid particles they are there also in liquid the molecules are vibrating like you are playing in the tiffin uh, in the break time and similarly in gas form the energy is very high and particles are moving very fast so what is happening actually is all heat is all related to this concept of movement of particles actually we call it that the particles any any substance whether solid liquid or gas it's the particles are moving gases have got highest energy because their particles are moving very fast then might be the liquids and then the solids have got the least energy at at room temperature now let us try to also understand this way that even it is a winter day cold day when you are sleeping then what happens your whole particles body movement blood flow everything is little slower and that is why you feel lazy but as soon as the sun rises and there is little bit of heat you get up and you start jumping around because these particles now are in action which make you up so uh, uh, i think so first thing is that you have got the concept of energy and heating anything why do we rub our hands like that we produce heat we feel warm then the blood starts flowing and movement is created and that is how energetic we become so shubhans uh, amya and uh, uh, the, the other child uh, all of you and all of you you should try to concentrate and see what i am talking now let us also do a particular experiment today you will uh, you should do it when you are looking at this video you try to get three three different glasses or might be three different bowls uh, 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 or three different cups you can get in one cup from the fridge you take some some ice cubes and drop in water let it be little cold then in one cup you keep simple ordinary tap water and in one cup you warm little water please you do this under the monitoring of your parents and then what happens please once more under the monitoring of your parents you do it then what happen you stand up then once again i am telling you that you have got three glasses number one is the glass or cup containing little hot water hot water then you have got normal water normal water and then you have got cold water you have got cold water all right in the glass cold water now heat is a perception i'll tell you first you put your hand in cold water let it be there let it be there and then after 2 3 minutes you take out that hand and put it in your normal water the normal water will let you feel you will feel the normal water is little warm all right the normal water is warm but it is obvious from a cold cold thing you have taken your hands out and you put in a normal water so you will first appear what is the fun over here but then what happens you wait you take your hands out from the normal water like that and you write your experience please all of you will write in the comment box how did you feel please do this under the monitoring of your parents and try to tell me what happened we do science i am not going to decorate my videos i am going to let you do science so 
cold water with ice cubes after 10 minutes when it is sufficiently cold and there is a normal water you put your hands down in the cold water you take it out put your hands in and now normal water the hand which was here you put it down you will feel this water is warmer then what happens after 2 3 minutes you have got also ready hot water is ready here you put your hand in hot water but not make it very hot but sufficiently hot all right it should be hot at at least around 60 uh, degree temp uh, centigrade like you are making uh, uh, tea then uh, you ask you tell your parents it should be sufficiently hot now you put your hands over here keep it for 2 minutes and then you put it in normal water now the normal water appears to be cold so actually heat is a perception also it is an a basic understanding of heat should be that why when you put the cold your hand from cold water to normal water this becomes uh, this appears to be more warm it is because always heat travels from higher temperature to a body at lower temperature so your hand was at lower temperature and then normal normal uh, uh, water was at higher temperature so when you put your hands inside the normal water then what happens heat started moving from normal water to your hands and therefore your hands started you, you started feeling warm now next is that uh, next time what happens you put your hands in hot water and then you put it in normal now this becomes cold because your hand now is heated and then what happens your heat starts going from your hand to the normal water water and therefore what happens that means heat always flow in which direction from a body which is at higher temperature to a body which is at lower temperature that you should understand very very well did you all understand and you know what will happen till 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 both the bodies suppose you are keeping your hand here and you are telling yes sir i am feeling that from hot water when i took it normal water appeared to be cold but to what extent it the heat will continue to flow from your hand to the normal water till your hand as well as the normal water does not come to the same temperature so first basic understanding of heat did you all get children so this is what is heat heat is a form of energy and heat flows from a body at higher temperature to a body at lower temperature heat will always flow from a body at higher temperature to a body of lower temperature then what are the sources of heat sources of heat are the fuels which we burn you have got lpg you have got then you sun solar energy also is a very very important uh, source of uh, heat then you can by rubbing friction you get heat etc burning of coal gives you heat so there are many sources of heat that you have to understand now next part comes is so you have understood till here children you have understood so that is the first part then what is the measurement of heat you know we have to correctly understand that heat is measured in joule actually heat in higher classes when you will go you will understand heat energy and work done all three physical quantities have the same unit that is joule or calories or calories actually heat is also given names uh, thermal uh, the word therm comes from heat only so these are the first basic things you have understood uh, i will uh, uh, rub off the board uh, and uh, uh, I, you also pause here then i'll continue after rubbing the board i'll have i will give you another video just a second Thank you.